Do we look alike? Do we look alike? I don't know. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. What's up guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. So the other day I was browsing around on Pinterest and I may or may not have typed my own name into the search box, but that is besides the point. Point is, I found something so crazy, so mind-boggling, just shocking. I found this. It is a book about me. About, about me. A book. A romance novel. What, what is this world coming to? It is not actually about me, but it is about a girl named Cassidy Quinn. So I read the description. Newly single Cassidy Quinn, that's my name, is thrilled to be a contestant on the new reality dating show. I was on a reality show. But her excitement turns to horror when the gorgeous bachelor turns out to be her ex-boyfriend. <gasps> Seeing Brad again makes Cassidy realize she might not be as over him as she thought. And then she meets the hunky cameraman, Evan Burke. My boyfriend is my cameraman sometimes. But soon, Cassidy must choose between the ex who broke her heart and the cameraman who might never love her back. For Cassidy, this reality show just got real. So as always, when I find something random and entertaining on the internet, I emailed it to my mom, who responded and was like, you need to find this author and tell her about yourself. And my mom was half joking, but I took her seriously. So I found the author of this book, Heather Thurmier, on Twitter and tweeted at her. Hey Heather, falling for you look awesome, especially since my name is Cassidy Quinn and I was on our online reality show. Too funny! And she was all, so awesome to meet a real Cassidy Quinn and the reality TV coincidence too. Are you dating an Evan Burke by chance? LOL. So from there, obviously me and Heather were best friends and Heather actually decided to send me a copy of the book. I just, I don't read a lot. I spend a lot of time on the internet and I don't really like sit down and read books and I don't read books to fall asleep at night because I either just watch TV or else I'm just so tired I just fall asleep anyway and I fall asleep like editing with my computer on my lap. Point being, I don't really read a lot of books and if I read them, it takes a long freaking time. But this time, it went really quickly. Maybe because I'm vain and I was reading about myself and really enjoyed it. Or maybe it's just because this book is really entertaining. It's basically like reading a book version of The Bachelor. And I love The Bachelor. And this book got to me in the mail about the same time that The Bachelor season ended. So clearly I was in need of some Bachelor action. Another funny thing about me reading this book is that the fictional Cassidy Quinn is extremely clumsy. On the first day that I started reading this book, I started dropping everything. That morning I was trying to put my makeup on and I swear I kept like everything, everything, I kept dropping everything. Everything kept falling onto the floor and I was just like, okay, this is getting creepy. Apparently I'm turning into the fictional version of myself. So I'm going to read you guys some passages from this book. Things get pretty hot and steamy with Cassidy Quinn and her personal cameraman, Evan. His gaze traveled up from her toes. Calves with ivory skin that looked as smooth as satin disappeared under pale blue robe, tied tight, accentuating a small waist. The edges crisscrossed in the front, creating a plunging V between two enticing mounds secretly hidden beneath the cloth. Ooh, that is sexy. Holy hunky personal cameraman. He had the most incredible dark blue eyes the color of the Mediterranean Sea. When she'd first seen him by the piano earlier, she thought the color was a trick of the lighting. Her breath caught in her throat as the heat from those eyes smoldered deep inside her. No man had ever looked at her that way before. Mmm, sexy time. Okay, we're gonna skip to the middle of the book when they actually start hooking up. He appeared calm and completely at ease and sexy. So damn sexy. Evan's body shivered with desire as Cassidy flipped the button open on her jeans and unzipped them, revealing the smallest glimpse of blue satin. His pulse raced as the back of her hand brushed against him. She peered up at him through heavy lashes and bit her bottom lip. She pulled back from their kiss, her eyes sparkling. He wasn't sure he'd ever seen anything as beautiful in his entire life. So romantic. Wrapping his free arm around her waist, he pulled her body tight to his. Oh my goodness, is it hot in here? Of course, then things get really dramatic because Cassidy has to basically date her ex-boyfriend on the show while being obsessed with the sexy cameraman that she just kissed and oh, there's just a lot of kissing involved and a lot of drama and sexiness and oh, 
You, you just have to read it yourself. I can't tell you the whole thing. Jeez. I don't think I'm as romantic as the Cassidy Quinn in this book. I think she's a little more, um, I don't know, sexier than me, I guess. Is that, is that true? Probably. Have you guys ever had any experience like this where you found something that somehow related so much to yourself that you just didn't understand it? Let me know in the comments below because my mind is seriously just so boggled and confused. I, I don't even know. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm done here.